This is the 15th play of the drive. It's either number 80, Miles Jordan in the slot, or 15, Cole Tucker up top. Lombardi throws out, caught, but to Joyner, I believe, will they mark him out of bounds? If they mark him out of bounds, it stops the clock. Inbounds, inbounds. They will start on the referee's whistle. One second. Now, wait a minute. Coastal Carolina is celebrating. That's it. That's it. Coastal Carolina has made history. First win in program history. What a finish here in Orlando. I want you to break this one down, Kurt. Well, did he catch it? That's the number one thing. It's if he he didn't catch the football, so or did he catch it? They're saying that he didn't catch it, but the clock's still running. There's a lot that go <laughs> sort of digest in that last situation. He felt that he caught it and it got out of bounds, which would have been a first down. But <laughs> did they call that a catch? <laughs> Or is it incomplete? If it's incomplete, the game was over regardless. But he catched it and then got out of bounds. I don't <laughs> still try to process what just happened. You know, it's one of those where if you go this direction, it's still a coastal wind. If you go right. that direction, it's still a coastal wind. So either way, <laughs> either way I, I don't know if it's going to be a satisfactory explanation for Northern Illinois. Heartbreak Hotel for the Huskies. What a finish, 47-41. The shot to clears, making history. Capital One player of the game is Grayson McCall, the two-time Sun Belt Player of the Year. 22 of 30, 315 yards, four touchdown passes. What a ball game. So long from Orlando. Well, Friday night in the Fargo Dome and the FC.